and J.P. Piper coming up courtside. And uh, tell you something, the, uh, the Colonels today put up a fight, especially early. And that, that was good to see. The, the jitters weren't as prevalent, I guess, as we expected them to be early, despite the turnovers. No, I, I was really proud, Mike, to be honest with you. I, I knew uh, that this game could get out of hand early. And to have it at a 10-point margin with six minutes to play with a depleted bench, uh, and so many young bodies on the floor. I really I couldn't be proud. I couldn't have scripted it any better. Uh, I wish the final margin was a little bit closer, but I just told our guys there's nothing to be embarrassed about. That's a good basketball team, well coached. They guard hard. They don't give you anything easy. Uh, and we fought and competed. That's all I want. We'll be fine by the time we get to league play. And that's really the overriding concern for me right now is that we teach and grow and learn so that when January gets here, we're ready to go compete in the South Dakota. What impressed you or who impressed you most tonight? You know, I haven't had a chance to really scour the, the stat sheet, but um, I thought Lachlan Press shot the ball really well. I thought Chris Talkington shot it well. I guess overall, we make shots. So if we can learn how to be a good defensive team and develop a defensive identity and continue to make shots, I think you find yourself in games. Um, we're going to present problems for people if we can stretch the floor like that by making threes, especially when your big's making them. So uh, very promising. Uh, I thought we had some great defensive moments tonight. There were times when we were uh, we used the terminology on a string. Everybody was moving together, and there was no place for the ball to go. We had everything covered. Now, too many times it didn't happen tonight. And then I thought they made some tough shots in the second half. Their post players are making them from 15 feet, falling back with a hand in their face. And look, guys at our level don't do that, not consistently. They did it today. Um, you know, hats off to them. That's a good ball club. I think, uh, you know, under Coach Johnson's direction, they'll continue to improve, and, and they'll surprise some folks in their league. Very talented. Uh, I, I thought we did all we could do to give ourselves a chance to win, and uh, it just fell apart on us a little bit late. But you know, again, couldn't be proud of our group. What adjustments do you make heading into Tuesday's matchup? Hadn't even looked at Tulane yet, to be honest with you. Uh, I think Tulane, like LSU, is going to want to pound it inside on us. So we've got to continue to work on post defense. Uh, you know, hopefully Sam's back in the lineup, so that may tweak our starting lineup a little bit. Maybe not. Uh, to answer your question, honestly, I don't know yet. We've got to we've got to get into Tulane a little bit. It's a different type of team in terms of their offensive philosophy. So uh, it would be hard to answer that at this point. Just uh, really want to take a step forward. It's not as much about winning and losing right now for us as it is continuing to progress and improve and get better. Uh, you know, all looking toward January 4th.